afternoon, this is Leonie Whiting. I'm here demonstrating this simple card. Um, I've called it Sit for a While. It is from the new Stamping Up book 2016-2017. Uh, and it's using the stamp set Sitting Here, Lovely as a Tree and Mixed Borders. So to get started, we will be requiring a piece of craft that is uh, 4 inches by um, 12 inches. We will also be requiring Whisper White, which is at 4 and a quarter inch by 5 and 3 quarter inches and we will be requiring a piece of DSP which is uh, from the affectionately yours collection and that is 3 and a quarter by 5 and 3 quarters. So to start off with you will be required to fold your craft card in half. Now I like to use a bone for this rather than scoring. Um, everyone has their own technique but I just bone so that you end up with a card that is 6 by 4. You end up with a card that is 6 by 4 inches. So we're just going to pop that aside for now and start on our Whisper White and <clears throat> I like to make the card a little bit um, wider when I'm actually aqua painting which is what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to start with Soft Sky um, and we're going to just press the ink pad so that it leaves some residue of ink on the in inner lid of the pad and then I like to use a spritzer to spritz it to um, give us a hot wash because we want to use the aqua painter and it just gives it a nice um, even wash without adding too much water and making it a big mess so then all you're just doing is Washing it over the page, the entire page, with the soft sky onto the Whisper White. I hope you can see this on the camera. Until it covers the entire piece of cardstock. Once you've got it to the desired colour of your choice, because the more you add to the darker it becomes, um, be always mindful to clean out the lid of the ink so that you're not diluting the ink pad itself. Close it up and put it away. This colour we're going to be using is called it's from the new collection, sorry. It's called um, Emerald Envy. It's quite a beautiful green, but it makes a really nice tree green, I think. And we're just going to use from the Lovely as a Tree um, collection, the Oak Tree. Now, when you do this, I don't want you to um, apply the tree straight to the ink pad because then we would be getting parts of the tree that I don't wish to put on the actual background. I just want the um, leaves of the tree so that it gives the effect that the swing is hanging from a tree. So in order to do that I use a dauber which is a piece of uh, plastic 
that has a foam top to it and it gives you more control of where you're placing your ink. So just as I'm doing here, I'm leaving the trunk of the tree off so that I don't get what I don't require. And then you just dob your leaves in with colour and ink it on the top of your card and then when you have done that it doesn't leave the trunk so therefore you're just getting the leaves which is in this um, application of this card all that is required. I don't want the trunk, just the leaves. I'll heat that process until you have completely covered the top of the card with green leaves, like so. Always remember with stamping out products or any stamp products that you clean your stamps with the stamp and scrub cleaner um, because it replenishes the stamp and stops them becoming hard and brittle. Um, so, and it's really easy to clean them. You just rub it into the wet side and then onto the dry side. And for anyone that has not used this um, device before, on one side of the tray you've got little raindrops and on the other side of the tray you've got an umbrella. So you are aware of which side you should wet and which side you should dry. So then we are going to stamp our swing. So the swing is from the set um, sitting here which I really love because I'm a cat owner and I love cats and um, so it suits me to and then I'm using basic grey to ink the swing so if you're not sure how to open these inks there's a set of three dots at the bottom end of the ink pad if you push your thumb on those it pops the lid up ink up your pad If you have inked the block, wipe it off. You do not want that on your page. <clears throat> and then we're just printing that down so that the swing is heading up into the leaves of the tree. Make sure that you have a good coverage and that you push over every area of the stamp so that you get a true stamp image. Then clean it. I'll bring this back into the shop for you and dry it. And I like to um, put my stamps away straight away so then they're not getting confused and like so. So then I'm going to put that aside for now and use the, sorry, you use the mixed borders. So I'm just going to use this little um, reef, hair reef or something like that um, to make it look as if there's branches coming down out of the tree as such. It's a bit like a willow tree and to do that I'm using wild wasabi because I think this looks a bit Willow like the wild wasabi reminds me of the colour of willow trees, and that was the effect that I was trying to um, come up with. So I'll just move this out of my way. Now, when you 
use stamping up ink pads. They're very juicy. Just, just touch them. You don't need to overkill. Just a slight touch. And all I'm doing is stamping one direction, turning it around, making sure that you connect the two and stamping the other direction. And just doing that to your desired length, however you fancy going. about cleaning your stamps but I believe it's very important and so I will probably nag you to death about that. I'm also very partial to telling people not to be tacky. I don't like tackiness in my cards. Um, some people might find it quite retro but I don't. I like it to be neat and tidy. The next colour we're using is Tip Top Taupe. And we're just stamping the little bird from this collection. And again, just touching the ink pad. You don't need to get too carried away. But I want him sitting just on the swing, like so. do so many different combinations with this set. It's just such a beautiful set to work with. Okay, then you want some little scrap pieces of Whisper White, which I keep a box, as you can see, it's very messy, but it's always got little scrap pieces in it, which I find really useful for what we're doing next, which is the little cat and some pillows and the um, caption rather than cutting it from a brand new sheet. Cushions at this stage and place them on the block. Now I have done those in Night of Navy. So, so then you just ink them up and stamp them onto the scrap card. You should move that so you can see it, like so. And the Knight of Navy to one side, because we're going to use that again in a while. With the basic grey, I'm going to do the cat. Like so. And then the 
verse that I have chosen to use is come sit a while with me. So um, you could use any of the verses from the set or you could use um, a verse, a favourite verse from a different set that you have acquired. Um, but I wanted to keep it with the set, the main set that I was using. So that's all the stamping out at this stage. We're now going to use the blend. I'm going to blend um, Smoky Slate, which is Smoky Slate. Uh, a lot of ladies with the blender pens will actually push into the ink onto the lid. Um, I think with the blend pens it's it's not required um, because the pen itself is clear until you apply the ink. Um, I don't see the sense in putting a, a lot of ink in the lid when you're only going to be using a small amount. So I don't want you to do too much um, of this colour because you won't see the, the, the cat otherwise. Um, much is probably the wrong word. Too heavy is probably what I should say of a colour. You want, I like to leave a little bit of a white neck on my cats because that's what my cats are like and a little bit of a white patch on the top of their nose because I like to um, be um, matching them to my babies um, but everyone is different and they might like to cover the cat entirely but I'm just going to leave a little bit of white here on the chest and on his nose and the inside of his ears and that's all you need to do with the Basic, uh, with a smoky slate. Now, like I said, you can use any colour you like um, on your cats. I just, both my cats are grey and I prefer to use the grey. Then I'm going to use the Knight of Navy. Um, now, this is an older ink pad compared to our new ink pads. And as you notice, I cleaned the blending pen off and I can now just use it straight into the next colour. But because this is a felt pad and not a sponged pad, it's better to put the ink in the in the lid. Um, it just seems to come out easier that way. And all I did was colour in between the little um, pattern just to give some colour to the cushion. And just do this however it's easiest for you. I tend to run in lines. Some people might go around each pattern individually, just um, what suits you. I hate it when people say um, and I seem to be saying that a lot today, so please forgive me. It's not something I normally do. You could do it opposite to how I'm doing it if you so wish. You could have colour in your little pattern and leave the outlines white, or you might like to do it uh, two different colours. That's entirely your choice. Always like to give people options because I think it's individual taste, individual style, and I am just giving you a bit of an idea, so how you choose to do it is your choice. So again you can see that I am cleaning off the blending pen on the back page and I'll put the Knight of Navy away now, we are finished with that. Um, and I want to bring across my card and in
and I just do the bird in the smoky slate as well just to give him a bit of colour okay that's all I'm doing with the smoky slate at this time we're going to go back and use some more nitro to do the very fine stripes on the cushion. Okay, and again, you're just cleaning your blender pan off and then returning the lid so it doesn't dry out. And that is all that's required with the blender pen. So now I'm going to go back to the little cat and the cushions and get rid of what I don't need. So I'm just going to chop the fancy cut, some people call it, around the outside of the cat and the two cushions. Some people like to leave quite a fine line of white all the way around it. For this particular um, application I don't like to do that because I want to give the effect that the cat is actually sitting on the swing. So um, I choose not to leave a fine white line around my cat today. But if you want to do that, that's entirely, like I said before, an individual decision. Uh, the acquire. Now with our text, I just use my cutter and I usually cut them at about one and a half centimetres which is about half an inch so um, but this one I'm actually going to cut it a little bit bigger maybe uh, five eighths because I like them to be even top and bottom and half an inch made but not so even so and we require a scrap piece of craft so again I go to my little box of tricks and hopefully I'll have that's from okay, um, some scrap of to do so Nope, I don't. So then I would cut this piece here at an inch. Like so. Central to that. And I'm going to use the fine tip glue pen just to apply some glue to the back of my script and we need to put all that aside and I need to trim this down to three and a quarter inch by five and a quarter inch and we're going to have an easel opening card so 
I'm just going to get a blender tool and go around my edges because I don't like white edges and when you cut the cardstock it leaves a white edge so I just like to sponge the edges because that's where that tackiness comes in that I was talking about before so I'm just going to go I'm not even going to bother re-inking it because it probably won't require it because I use my blenders all the time and it's probably got plenty of ink on there which it seems to be the case and go around it with um, marina mint oh no mint mockaroon this one mint mockaroon so you're just going to coat your edges so that you don't have any white lines this is nothing worse than tacky white lines i like them to be blended in some people might blend it over so that you have like this soft pale green some people um, are quite happy to leave the white, but I am not. Um, I just find if you just coat it a little bit, it just takes that uh, white away and it doesn't look quite so unfinished. Okay. So then we are just sticking the DSP. To the craft cardstock, like so. And if you've got a little too much glue, just um, sponge it off with a bit of paper towel. I always find is um, handy. And again, I go around the outside of my whisper white with the mint locker room and I coat and I put the glue on And just make sure you have a nice even border around the outside of your stamped design, like so. Then I'm just going to use some dimensionals to put my pillows and my cat onto the card and to do that I you like to use tweezers because if you haven't noticed I have long nails and I like to use money. I only cut them in half when I've got small things that I need to um, have them applied to like these cushions uh, okay. and the cat and then you just take the wax paper off the back and making sure that you have your script up the right way, placing it over your swing and then putting your cushions on and your cat. If you notice on the cushion, it has a little bit of shading here, um, which is part of the stamped area. So I always like to place that to the bottom so that it appears as if it's shadowed. Then I put the cat on and I always hang his feet over the edge of the cushion uh, 
just to give them a bit of support because it's hard to get the dimensionals up into that fine area of the cat. So we'll just place him. that and then you can put the third cushion wherever you want um, if you notice on the one that I did to show you what we were doing today I've placed it in behind the cat here but you could put it anywhere you can put it over here if you want to in behind him here but I tend to like having it I can get the dimensional in the right way here and again you've got that shadowing so you really want that to go towards the bottom of where you're placing it and that's as simple as that and that is it we are done for this lesson today I hope you enjoy making this card as I have enjoyed bringing it to you if there is anything that I can do to help you, please contact me um, on Frogfish Cards. And um, if I can help you in any way, I will. If you require anything that I have used today and would like to get them from me, um, again, just, uh, just contact me on Frogfish Cards. Okay, bye for now.